You know, I did well. I, I definitely am I'm very happy with my performance. For some, it was a good day. I'm just so overly joyed with the way I performed out there in, in a, an event like this. For others, not as much. It was a sloppy day for me. I can do way better. Honestly, I think I can score probably two points higher than what I did today. As the country's top men's gymnast, Duke did out at the U.S. Olympic trials to see who most deserves a spot on the team. The perfectionist in each of these men was on display. Super pleased? No, but I don't think you'll ever hear me say I'm super pleased. <laughs> pleased? <laughs> but but I, I am pleased. Uh, I did pretty well. Um, not perfect, obviously. That's some things to improve on. Definitely. I feel like I can do a lot better overall, um, especially on P-bars. But Thursday night may have belonged to the one guy who wasn't fretting over his flaws. You know, looking back, it, yeah, it was great. It was a great day. I, I don't think I could have asked for more. Um, you know, I can't be I can't be mad about anything that happened today. I've got little things here and there, but uh, as a whole, I'm, I'm very excited and very happy about today and looking forward to Saturday. Until the trials, Justin Spring didn't think he had a shot of making it on the Olympic team, especially after fighting through knee, back, and ankle injuries. But his laid back, got nothing to lose style paid off, and he was in the lead after five events. He even aced a last minute floor routine he hadn't performed in months. They announced my name, I saluted, and I just said to my head, I was like, what am I doing? Doing right now. Yeah. I was like, I cannot believe I'm going to try to do a floor routine. It was a night for the underdogs. Sasha Artemev and Jonathan Horton placed first and second at the trials. But with the second day of trials still ahead of them, these athletes know anything can still happen. And it's not over until those six spots are sealed. The men will have a day of downtime before continuing their competition on Saturday. Most of the athletes I spoke to said rather than training, they plan on spending that day off with family and friends. The women's competition begins Friday evening. In Philadelphia, Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press.